You know, being a captive participant in the ADHD lifestyle, one never chooses it. It always chooses you for some reason. And sometimes I don't know if it's a meme or a joke or a representation to those who don't experience ADHD, but it but it goes something like this. You might be speaking on the phone to someone or having a conversation or giving a TED talk or a podcast, YouTube channel like this. And then all the, oh, look, a squirrel. <laughs> all of a sudden you just get freaking distracted right <laughs> there the joke is o l a s oh look a uh, squirrel but today this actually for the first time in my life works in my favor oh look a uh, squirrel broadcasting live establishment in town that can't kick him out his own basement the world according to rocket hey many thanks for being here today appreciate you if you like the content on this channel please like and subscribe and i really appreciate those of you who've taken the time to send a super thanks this week. I appreciate that like crazy. Thank you for your generosity. These super thanks are super helpful in keeping this channel alive and well and humming. Thank you. All right, folks, gather around. If you haven't heard the buzz around Tennessee's own Squirrel White, you're about to hear more about it. All right, picture this. Joe Milton the third. He's looking right. He's looking left. Who does he find? None other than our squirrely guy, Squirrel White. Touchdown, Tennessee. Give him six. One thing is clearer than Tennessee moonshine. The magic between Milton and White is real. And it's not just on the field. Off the field? I want you to think Pippin and Jordan. From joystick battles to jet ski adventures, these two have been mixing and matching like biscuits and gravy. And if last season is any indication, that chemistry is brewing just right. Now, just a quick note on the jet ski and stuff. I'm told <laughs> that squirrel doesn't swim. That's what I've been told. I'll check that out. I don't know if that's a rumor or not, but I read that in a story. He's been turning heads since he stepped into first practice, really, at Haslam Field a couple of years ago. After a rocking debut last year, totaling a whopping 30 receptions and 500 yards uh, in pass receptions, even Tennessee's head coach, Josh Hypo, couldn't help but sing his praises. He's getting a lot of attention. Of course, the big thing is, can he replace the production, not the person, but the production of Jalen Hyatt last year? Which, <laughs> I mean, it doesn't get much better than what Jalen Hyatt did last year. The thing is, is that where Squirrel is headed? I think so. That's what I think. Now, the word is this, that once Ramel Keaton and Brew McCoy graduate this year, it's going to be Squirrel being the boss, leading the pack. Can you see that? I can see that. Man, there's just such a lot to be excited about this Tennessee football team. Now, if you like me at all, you've wondered about the name, right? So here's some nutty history for you. How does one get a name like Squirrel? Well, <laughs> typically with weird names, a grandma or a great grandma is involved somehow. His great grandma saw our little beloved Squirrel out in the yard mimicking the moves of a garden Squirrel. Just playing with a Squirrel and, you know, imitating what he's doing. Cute, right? Well, there's your backstory. That's how the name came about. Great grandma named him Squirrel from that point on. Just a quick heads up. This squirrel ain't just 
any old squirrel. He's one of the fastest squirrels in the world. I ain't even lying. He's truly one of the fastest players in college football, maybe even pros. I haven't done the research on that bit, but I will just to satisfy my own curiosity. Uh, he has been clocked at 23.6 miles per hour. That's fast on any planet, right? I mean, really? Before dazzling in Tennessee, the Birmingham, Alabama native was the star. I love it when we get people from Alabama. He was the star of Clay Chalkville High School, leading them to a state title. And while he was on his way to Tennessee, Georgia and Auburn tried to snatch him away. And he said, oh, look, a squirrel. We are so glad to have this kid, man. He is just Awesome. So as we count down to the big show against Virginia in nine days, remember this, in football, like in life, always keep an eye out for the squirrel, especially if he's named White. You see what I did there? I made like a rhyme, almost like a rhyme. It's kind of, kind of a rhyme. <laughs> like and subscribe. And thanks again for the super thanks. And I will see you in the next video. See you in Nashville.